Our goal here today is to try to save lives in the city of Buffalo. As you all know, last week there were several serious fires in the city of Buffalo. Those fires resulted in four fatalities, uh, one person uh, being in uh, critical condition still, and a, um, and a sixth person who fortunately was able to escape without any serious injuries uh, whatsoever. Um, in all cases, there were not working smoke detectors in these properties. Uh, and we want to send the message that smoke detectors save lives. Uh, these life-saving tools are as inexpensive as ten dollars. Uh, and for that investment, uh, some of these individuals that we lost last week could still be with us today. So we are here and we are asking you to help us um, just urge and stress the importance of this. By New York State law, smoke detectors should be in each bedroom in a home as well as outside sleeping areas and on every level of a residence, including the basement. In new construction, smoke detectors must be hardwired with battery backup. Uh, and so this is state law, and this state law is on the books to save people's lives. Over the last five years in the city of Buffalo, there have been 39 deaths from fire. Uh, and of that 39, uh, 33 occurred in um, structures where there was no smoke detector. Uh, I am uh, very pleased that the City of Buffalo is here today to announce some action that we are taking to try to correct this. My administration is very serious about this, and the leadership on this effort is going to be provided by our Fire Department and Fire Commissioner Michael Lombardo. Um, we are urging, and we're going to be aggressively going out and urging, utilizing our members of our Fire Department, the importance of having a smoke detector, detector in every business and every residence in the city of Buffalo. Um, and we want to see this happen as soon as possible. We don't want to go through another day, another week, another year where we lose a member of this community uh, in a fire because there was no smoke detector present because they didn't get an early warning. They didn't get a notification that a smoke detector could have provided that there's a fire, that there's danger, that you need to get out of this residence. Um, we want to save lives in this community in the city of Buffalo. And we want to save lives throughout West New York. Uh, now I'm going to turn things over to Commissioner Lombardo who will give you some more specific detail about the fires last week where uh, we lost uh, four members of our community and another member of our community was critically injured and he will also talk about our plan and our strategy uh, to uh, ensure that homes have smoke detectors that are working and carbon monoxide detectors that are working as well. Uh, now it's my pleasure to introduce Fire Commissioner Michael Lombardo. Commissioner? Good afternoon everybody. Thank you very much for coming today. Um, just to reiterate a little bit, as the mayor said, this is a vitally, vitally important subject. Uh, the Buffalo Fire Department works very hard. They train very hard. They, they um, do a lot of things to try and keep the people of Buffalo safe from fire and other emergencies. However, we can't do that by ourselves. One of the things we handed out to you today was uh, a listing of the response times to the incidents that we talked about from last week. And as you can see, the, the uh, longest response time we had was four minutes and four seconds on Stockbridge. And part of that was we, the, our initial report was for smoke in the area a couple blocks away. So it took us a little bit to find the exact location. The call didn't come from the uh, residence itself. All the way down to a fire on Overland Street where a person is in critical condition at this time still at Erie County Medical Center where we were there in two minutes and 27 seconds. Um, that's with fire operating fire company units. Um, the crews do spectacular job getting into these buildings, getting people out. And in most of these instances, those people were removed very quickly, 
give them the best shot they could. However, with smoke detectors present, um, the whole situation changes. People are awakened, people are um, alerted much, much, much faster than they would be without. Um, the one incident we talk about where there was no injuries, but the person um, was very close to being injured, we had a fire on Jersey Street where we had unattended cooking in the kitchen and burned up the kitchen and things, and someone other than the occupant right near the fire heard crackling noises. There was no operating smoke detector in the premises, and uh, the person was woken up and removed from the building, no injuries, but it's that close. This morning, early this morning, we had a fire on uh, Mariner Homes, which is suspicious in nature, probably an incendiary fire. Tremendous amount of fire on arrival by the fire department, hardwired smoke detectors operating, and 11 people safe and sound out of the apartment building on our arrival. <clears throat> Excuse me. So these smoke detectors, you know, something, as the mayor pointed out, something as little as $10, um, we have to wake up Buffalo. We have to make sure that people understand the vital importance of this piece of equipment. The one I'm holding up has a sealed battery, which from our perspective, if you don't have a hardwired system, is a real good idea because nobody can take the battery out for one reason or another. Um, these have a lift approximately 10 years. Um, they have, there's different types of smoke detectors, both photoelectric and ionization type, which do a little bit different things, but any type in a home is better than not having any. Um, we would always hope that we see hardwired detectors that do help um, in the respect of not having to worry about that battery situation, which we, a number of these instances had smoke detectors in them, but the batteries were not in place, so they were ineffective. And we see how bad that is. Um, we have uh, launched uh, through a grant process, Operation Scope. It's smoke, carbon monoxide, CO, uh, prevention and education. And what we're talking about is educating in, uh, uh, people in, West, in Buffalo and Western New York about the importance of smoke detectors and CO detectors, as well as um, prevention of, of uh, fire fatalities through the issuing of these. <coughs> we're in the process right now of, we have ordered 2,300 smoke detectors and 1,000 CO detectors through a grant that uh, Lieutenant Luca wrote last year that we were awarded to by the F uh, Federal Emergency Management Agency to provide fire prevention and uh, 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 education to the people of Buffalo. These smoke detectors are we're going to be working in concert with the uh, Citizen Services D Division of the City of Buffalo and we will have a multitude of, of ways of getting them out to people. We'll be on a need base um, the smoke detectors and CO detectors, but uh, we'll also be working with uh, through our, one of the things we talk about is our 20 community neighborhood um, inspections. We're talking about our clean sweeps that the uh, mayor has started and the different city agencies, a multitude of not only actually city agencies, but outside agencies, as well as private um, corporations take part in these clean sweeps to identify a neighborhood and, 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 and uh, go in there and help out with all different types of quality of life issues. This being one of them. Our fire prevention people have gone on those clean sweeps since we started. We check on the condition of smoke detectors and hopefully um, give out information on fire safety. Another part of this grant process was to uh, obtain a large amount of, of uh, uh, fire prevention literature, both in English and in Spanish, that we will have available and will also be um, attending a number of major community-wide events, such as the Taste of Buffalo, such as the Allentown Art Festival, Juneteenth, um, the Italian Festival, and, and Gus Macher um, Basketball Tournament, <clears throat> where we will be um, with our uh, fire personnel, trying, hopefully educating people on the fire safety issues that um, they're faced with. 